Well, we are here in Mountain View, Arkansas at the Dulcimer Shop. The Dulcimer Shop has been part of my life for many years because I started playing the Mountain Dulcimer when I was nine years old. Um, my mom taught me to play it. This one, well, all of them are made special for me because I play left-handed. <laughs> so uh, the Dulcimer actually is a Native American instrument from the Appalachian Mountains. I play a very traditional style that my mom taught me. Uh, I play a lot of the old fiddle tunes uh, on the Mountain Dulcimer. This is called Crooked Ridge. And I actually lived on a ridge uh, out towards 56 called Crooked Ridge. <laughs> It's an honor to get to say you're from Mountain View, Arkansas, and to get to tell people about what we have. So I guess that's what, when I introduce myself, I hope that they come away thinking how, what a neat place I'm from, you know, and, and how lucky to play music. You know, you grow up in Mountain View and you know everybody, and everybody knows you, and uh, there's pros and cons to that, I guess, but <laughs> for the most, it's pros. From the time I was five until I was 21, I played in a family band as a Simmons family. So we started here at the courthouse, and then when the Ozark Folk Center opened in uh, 1973, then you know we started playing at, in the auditorium at the Folk Center. On Fridays or Saturday nights, we all gathered at the court square for the Hoot Nanny, and you just had different groups that would play through the night. If the weather was bad, we went upstairs into the courtroom. So. Lots of great memories right here at the courthouse, and we still, we have music still on the courthouse square. I appreciate that my mom and dad instilled in me the love of music and encouraged me to keep going, and here I am, uh, well, we won't say my age, but here I am <laughs> later in life, and I'm still loving it just as much. But this is my dad, and of course that's Dell Bumpers, and if you see this, provided by the Committee of 100 for the Ozark Folk Center. Proud to be part of the Committee of 100. It's a great group of hardworking women. My grandpa too, oh, he used to go to church on Sunday when the wagon was new. This is called Back to Arkansas, written by Mike Gavin, and uh, it talks about the White River. And we're gonna play the spoons in this. What's that sound I hear like clear water running? Thought I heard the wide river call. I had me a dream and it took this long to find it. Now I'm going back to Arkansas. You know, the good thing about playing the spoons is you're never out of tune, you never break a string, and you're always ready for a potluck. So, you know, there's a lot of pros. <laughs> We forgot what this good earth is for But somewhere there is land that's still held in God's hand And some of it lies near my door I have lived among some good and gentle people It's just been part of my life to promote the music and to promote our heritage. You know, it's just part of me and, and it's something I love to do. Well, tomorrow I am leaving, I am going away. I want 50 years from now, there'll be somebody that's still playing the dulcimer and still playing the old ballads and the folk tunes that I've grown up with and that I sing. So, you know, you it's that heritage. Um, so. To be a part of being able to try to keep that going is very special. Back again, you said that you'd come back, but you didn't say when.